Isn't that crazy? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Then I think it was a thousand. Hello. Anyway. Alright guys, we took a little break. Got some soup at the Canute household. Came back out. Got on uh, about a pound bath. Hey guys, tight quarters in here. We got the heater going. We're. I gave you guys a little update. We were at my parents' house. We're at a farm pond close by there. We were all warming up. And Brett's got himself a nice bluegill. We have been hammering these eight to nine inch bluegill. Still looking for the 10 incher. That's probably, an, that's an eight and a half. That's a good one. Still looking for the 10. Brett got a bass while you were missing. I was outside the hut trying to brave the heat. Hey, brave the heat, brave the cold, and ice fishing the heat. That's new to me. It was freezing, and I had one big hookup that was peeling line, and I lost them. Brett, let's get a close up on that baby. Oh yeah, fish. Uh, we're not keeping anymore. We've got plenty for fish takeos tonight, so we're releasing uh, from now on. And Eric's hooked one. up. Oh, she's pulling one, bit. She's pulling. Let's watch her. I got a great seat right above his hole here. Here she yeah, comes. Another one down. Bada bang. Hey, ooh, let's just do that one just to see. Because that one seems long, doesn't it? Long dong. Let's see if that's like a nine incher, just so we can get a reference. I gotta get back acquainted. Okay. Ouch. He's kind of spiky. There are fish down there. All right, guys. So, not the easiest measuring. That's like an eight and a half. When it gets down there, ooh. Unofficial eight. Unofficial eight and a half. And there she goes, back to the depths. And we still got fish down there. So oh, these time. guys are hammering. I thought I'd just give you guys a tip. We have ran out of wax worms, so we're using all kinds of plastics. We have some gulp plastics going. Um, we're still using frostbite. So just tipping a little fro frostbite. Uh, I'll have to look and see what that one's called. Susan really been liking time. liking the frostbite. The gulps yeah. have been working good too. Those imitation minnows is what we've been using. And I'll show you guys all that stuff later when we're not three guys crammed in a two ice hut house. Two person ice hut. They're trying to get up. Yeah, guys, it's been the cold's getting to me. I can't talk it's anymore. It's all right. <laughs> Thanks, Eric. Uh, go Bears. Where'd you get that hat? Aren't yeah. you a Dolphins fan? I think I stole it from coffee. The coffee shuffle. The coffee shuffle. He's this, this Chicago City kid. So, <laughs> he's a Kentucky fan. Dude, hopefully, so. yeah. hopefully he misses this episode. Guys, <laughs> if Nick watches like, this. I think he's a Dodgers fan this year, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, guys. Well, oh, are there any more on there? No. Oh, there's one. Someone just came in on, I can't on the bottom anymore. one. All right, well, we'll stay tuned. There's a little, but that's how the action's been. It's been awesome. If we get a big one, we'll tune back in. Hopefully a master or maybe a nice two, three pound bass. Uh, I, Eric, also, I got you, one too, bud. Okay, Brett. Hey. Oh, that's a dublave. Eric's got one. Brett just reeled in a nice Let's pound. See what we, oh, oh, another, bad, another oh bass. another bass. We got a school bass, bass coming bass. in there. Oh, 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 get him out. Get him out. Get him out. Baby. We got two bass. <laughs> Guys, we still got fish down there. Can, can we get a triple? Give me the triple. I want the Did triple. see that? Yeah, there. Dude, I did. That was good. You're still agile. Heck yeah. Oh, wait, sorry. Do that again, Brett. I missed it. What up? <laughs> Double bassies. Double nice bass. Pound. Dude, there's a bunch down there. There's still a nice Can one on the get it back on there? Yeah, hold on. Look. Oh, yeah. Boom. Double hole release. Double. Oh, oh, go play. Yeah. Go play. Good work, boys. Let's go. All right, guys. So here's some of the catch from today. We had an awesome day. We did not get a master angler bluegill. We didn't get any giant bass, but we did get quite a few bass and obviously a lot of good sized bluegill. We kept a few to clean. So real quick, I said we were going to do a catch, clean, and cook. Uh, not going to lie, this could not be my best time. Don't judge me. Usually I'm a electric knife guy and I come in and it's, zzz, zzz, and it's two seconds, but my electric knife is not here currently. So we're going to go old school. But come up here, I like to angle up. These guys are still a little stiff from the ice. And you're just gonna come down here. Some people will come in from the top and you're gonna hit the ribs and then you poke through once you get right to about there, right by the butt, okay? And then you would finish it out and then you could peel back the ribs. I'm just usually go through the ribs 
And then I take the ribs out a little later. It might not be as clean, but I feel like it takes a lot less time. And then once you get this in here, I'm really missing my electric knife right now. I'm going down till I feel that spine right there going across, right by that fin. And then you're gonna turn your knife, which this is not going the best. This is still frozen. Guys, give me one sec. All right, so I changed my mind. I didn't cut through the ribs, it was still a little frozen, it was hard to get in there. So I actually cut down from the top like I was talking about. You feel until you hit the ribs and then I just peeled back behind the ribs. So as you can see, those are your ribs right there. It does give you a nice clean cut. I do not cut through the skin at the end, I just flip it so then that way I don't have to try and pinch the skin and hold it. And I go right down next to the skin like that and peel it back. And we're just gonna slide it back. And it goes right along the skin. We're gonna come out. And there you have it. A nice little filet. There's numero uno of one fish, one side. We are half done. So it's gonna take a little bit. So we're gonna fly through this. Uh, someday I'll show you guys better when I have the electric knife and I'm feeling more comfortable. All right, I'm not the best at this. If I had the electric knife, I'm pretty good. But uh, we're just gonna fly through these real quick and we'll catch you at the frying pan. completed fillets little bluegill fillets so the process if you look right here this is flour I like to double dip I feel like it makes the breading better then we've got eggs whisked 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 with milk and then here we have our fish fry Christmas season Louisiana bread oh so what you do here you're just going to take your filet, you're going to dry it off so the flour sticks good, get it covered in flour, give it a little shake, you're going to dip it in the egg, let it drip, and then you put it in your fish, Louisiana breading, and that's going to be one lovely crispy filet. And then we're just going to repeat that process like 30 times. Okay. that done nice amount of bluegill fillets we're gonna come over here okay we're gonna grab a little bit of this breading right here when it sizzles she's hot and she's ready so we're gonna start frying them up and then we'll tune in with some tacos Fish tacos are done. We got the melted cheese on there. Fish taco. Tacos, I know. Shout out to Pig Patrol. I'm not stealing your phrase. I love your videos. He always says tacos. Pig Patrol. He's got me doing it. I need to stop doing it. That's his thing. Fish tacos. Anyways. Anyways. Look at that fried fish. 
Two different ones. Do you want to slow-mo break it in half for us? You know, what do we got okay. there? We got some fish here. Oh, yeah. Guys, when Taylor and I first met, she told me she was allergic to fish. Oh, that was a good one. You missed it. Ooh, that was... Oh, darn it. Sorry. Wait, where'd it go? Redo it. Break it into thirds. I think you want that in three bites. Were you going to fake break it again? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah. Man, look at that. Taylor used off. to be the pickiest eater. So when we first dated, she just said she was allergic to everything. So she wouldn't have to eat stuff. And now look at her. All right, honey, take a bite. What do you think? And you got to compare this to walleye and crappie. So this is bluegill. Okay. Thoughts? Good. Okay. Walleye is my favorite. Walleye is your favorite. What about to crappie? I don't really remember what crappie tastes like, but <laughs> I'm going to say they're both great. Okay. There you have it. Deal. Official review. We're about to make some tacos. 10 out of 10. We got ready to rock. 10 out of 10. You heard it. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. Make sure. Subscribe and hit that bell. Bing. It's the next morning. We are gonna have Remy do the taste test of her first time ever eating fish. So we're gonna do it this morning for a little brunch. Honey, you ready for some fish? Your first fish ever? First fish? Okay, mommy. Ready? Bluegill, what do you think? Do you like it? <laughs> good. <laughs> Smile if you like it. Is it good, Rem? All right, one more piece. One more. Oh yeah. Oh. So you should have had it fresh, but daddy was a slow cooker and forgot eggs. So it was bedtime for her by the time we got done last night. Did you like it? Smile if you like it. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, shove it back in. She likes it. Is it good? Is it good? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, bring her here. I think that's a 10. If I don't say so myself. Remy, hey. What's your review? A five out of five, guys. You guys saw it.